industry on parade. A pictorial review of events in business and industry produced each week by the National Association of Manufacturers. The Rope Walk, Boston Naval Shipyard, a building in which our Navy supplements the thousands of supply items it receives from private industry with a little manufacturing of its own. Manila fiber, or abaca, from the Philippines is cut to lengths not exceeding six feet then fed into the first of a series of machines that lubricate the fibers and comb them again and again into a uniform ribbon called sliver. After emerging from one machine and before going into the next, the sliver must be carefully paddled down so that the fibers, now parallel with each other, will remain that way. After six successive combings, Several slivers are blended into one. In the yarn spinning room, slivers are fed endlessly into machines that twist them at a speed of 1,500 revolutions a minute into a coarse thread called rope yarn. The yarn is wound on bobbins, each of which holds about four-fifths of a mile. A hundred bobbins are placed on a frame from which their yarns can be fed into the next operation, the twisting into strands. The sliver was twisted in one direction to make the yarn. Now the yarn is twisted in the opposite direction to make the strands, and the strands will be twisted the other way again to make the rope. This counterbalances any tendency on the part of the rope to unwind. Here we see the strands, three of them, being twisted into rope. Actually, the Navy word for rope of this size is not rope, but line. And you might get by calling it a hawser. And yet the place where it's made is called a rope walk. As the strands are twisted, they pass over whirling capstans onto the reel, a completed seven-inch line. This rope walk was founded in the days of sail, but today's blue jackets depend on ropes of all kinds almost as much as their predecessors for mooring, cargo handling, towing, for ladders, nets, and a hundred other uses. Those veteran rope makers at the rope walk in Boston are determined that whether it's on a buoy tender or an aircraft carrier, the rope will be the best to be had.